This is Bleed TV, the only podcast today's best shows and movies. I'm Zach. And I'm Cash. And tonight we have the, how do I dare say, one of the badassest actors I've ever seen on television, Sherman ah, Augustus. Yes, I, I think that's a good way to start. <laughs> that way to rock, yeah, I think that's the way to rock into it. <laughs> I like that. I like hey, look, that. I, we had to go ahead and make the, For all my life. <laughs> yeah, look. Badassness. That's Badassery. Right. The bottom line is, is that you needed an intro that met the expectations of what you have brought to the show that we love Hell so much. Yeah. So yeah. there's, there's okay. nothing better, you know I mean? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, look, honestly, the bottom honestly. line is we have to thank you. Uh, we've had numerous of listeners, uh, most majority of our fans listening into the, into the Badlands podcast have just been raving uh-huh. about the opportunity. We've got numerous emails, the whole nine yards, like can't wait to hear Sherman. Can't wait to hear oh, what man. he's like in the, you know, without the blue cloth on and the whole nine yards. Oh, oh yeah. Without, without my cape. Uh, yeah, yeah, there it is. I mean, looking too pretty and everything, you know. Now we're going straight into, as we said, the yeah, badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 get raw and dirty and nasty. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, let's absolutely. Go. Now I got to tell you, there is one question that's been burning most of our listeners. You okay. know, Cash and I have been wondering about this, and we just have okay. to know. Okay, you're, you're, you're kind of you're scared me. You all right, know, if you're ready, question. It's not have a you? Question, is it? This is it. <laughs> get ready now. Have right. you been? Nicknamed. Labeled or nicknamed Lefty. <laughs> <laughs> has, has it been thrown around yet? Have you been dubbed? No, you know what I get? You know what I get sometimes, you know, like, especially when we were uh, when we were shooting. What I would get sometimes is, you know, everybody's doing their thing and everybody's in conversation and you're just doing your day and your actors and, you're, you know, whatever. Everybody's walking around doing their thing and I'm trying to open something. Or if I have, if I have the... Uh, the actual hand on and I'm trying to open something. The or, golden or, hand. Or, or, <laughs> the golden hand, right, the golden hand. And then somebody, you know, honest and very earnestly was will ask me, hey, sure, you need a hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right? yes, I, I just right? love, like, those. Serious. And then we all look at each other and go, like, oh, man, okay, whatever. Because hey. when, they, when people do it on purpose, it's not funny. It's like, get out of here. <laughs> but when it's honest and earnest, and you're, they're, they're really concerned about you holding your coffee or whatever the case may be, or you're, you're, you're trying to do something or zip a bag or something, and they're like, hey, Sherm, you need a hand? <laughs> and it's funny as fuck. Yeah, you know, it's like the, because, the yeah. unintended dad joke is like the funniest jokes that you can get around, yeah. and that's what yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, you know, then it's funny and like, get out of here, you know, it's so it's, it's a trip. It's a that's trip. Awesome. I, get that, I get that all the time. That it's is like, awesome. I mean, seriously. Hey, Sherm, you want to handle anything? I got it. I got it. I got it, I guys. Got Don't it. worry. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Yeah. See, podcast over. That yeah, was the I question. Mean, you were good. Yeah, <laughs> we're good to go. Well, sir, something I've got to know, man. Cash and yeah. I are both former college football players, and we've noticed right. that we were reading some of your history that acting is your second career, or yeah. possibly your third, yeah. fourth, fifth. We're not sure, but we heard yeah, that yeah, you yeah, also yeah, had, a career, had a career around there. You had a career as a college slash pro football, football player. player. Yeah, yeah. My pro career, you know, if you blink, you miss me. So it was one of those oh, things. But, but well, yeah. look, <laughs> we, we have a question. We have a question. Yeah. So Cash and I have had a strong debate about what position you played in the pros. And so Cash's guess was a punter, and which I thought oh, that's, wrong, that's wrong for that, man. Oh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I'm just messing. But uh, So I, I guess the they, linebacker, they, they, he guessed they make, a tight end. They make good money. Punters make good money. But go, money. Uh, but go ahead. What were you saying? I said a linebacker. I said tight end. Uh, uh, defensive back. I played uh, strong and free safety. Oh. Uh, then got moved to corner. I started out my career in high school and actually in Pee Wee football as a receiver. Went from receiver. I uh, played receiver in high school a little bit. And I was like, you know what? I'd rather give the punishment. Yes. Um, Amen to that. And um, I think the thing of it was is I had, you know, um, Good feet, as they call it, you know, and oh, yeah. you know, turning, yeah. and, and you know, you know what I mean. Well, if you were like, the you know, secondary, you had to have hips and feet. That's yeah. the way it is. Yeah, hips and feet, and and I ran hurdles, and so a lot of uh, I can okay. see, I can see a lot see of it. defensive coordinators so like, like the one tens. Yeah, yeah, I ran the one tens, and you know, uh, the intermediates uh, uh, in college, uh, and wow. also the three thirties in, in high school. Oh, uh, that's a brutal yeah, race. That's that's a brutal. Yeah, oh, man, that's a crazy race. Um, the way I understand it and the way the science works is a lot of coaches like athletes that have great balance, uh, defensive backs that like great, have great balance. So, um, 
you know, once I started doing that, one of the coaches said, hey, look, uh, why don't you come over here and cover this guy? So covered the guy, was on him, on him, on him, on him, was able to turn. He goes, dude, you're a defensive back. I'm going to get a defensive <laughs> there it back. Is. And they weren't hurting. They weren't hurting at DBs. So, but he was just like, you know, you're, you're, you're wasting your, you're not wasting your time here, but, uh, and I like to hit. Yes. So, yeah. And, and that's the whole point of playing hit. football, right? That's yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and be around, I had a, uh, I would be around the ball all the time, even if it was, if I was a, a primary tackler or a secondary tackler on the, on, on the play or whatever the case may be, I was always around the ball. So I'm like, cool, I, I, you know, it's, it's better to give the punishment than to receive it. But there are some, as you guys know, uh, running backs and receivers who like to dish it out too. And, yes. um, yeah. And especially so, all uh, us offensive linemen whenever we could finally catch y'all downfield. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So you have to work out that whole thing too. You know, I used to try to uh, meet linemen, really big linemen, with the opposite leg back. So I'm not going to plant it. Yeah, I, my right side of my body. I'm not going to just plant everything there. I'm going to plant awkwardly so I can get bounced into the play. So I'm like, dude, this is great. I get bounced into the play. You know, <laughs> Man, <laughs> you know, that's, what, like, that's some heck of a technique. Well, yeah, that's yeah, just smart. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, yeah. you see, hear many DBs talking about positioning like that. And I just want to. Yeah. Did you happen to know or play with a Robin Senline in Minnesota? No, I didn't. No, okay. I, didn't. I, I was just curious. And then so. Yeah. You've done with all this football and everything, so once right. you finish football, how did you transition that into acting? Well, the interesting thing is this. Uh, growing up here in L.A., uh, I had a cousin, two cousins who were in the business back, okay. way back in the day. Uh, so, and then, you know, my home was a funny home. There's, there was, you know, there was always singing and dancing and, and you know, it was just... My mom was in the arts, so well, and just older the times, like I mean, that, that's how you pass time was yeah. just singing. Yeah, my grandmother was my my grandmother, my my uncle was my best acting coach ever. The, trust me, they were funny folks, <laughs> and uh, they were some funny folks. So I use and my my dad, I use a lot of my dad. I use a lot of my dad as Moon too. Uh, really? I've been doing a oh yeah, I've been do, see a lot of people. We'll get to that. You know, I I've been laying a lot of eggs, Easter eggs. And this whole thing, I never told anybody yet, but I've been laying a lot of eggs. And my friends that I grew up with They're and people it. that know me, they go, dude, I, that look. Remember that? You know, so, yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's what's that, going that on. That so they're catching awesome. on. They're catching on now. So I'm like, oh, okay. All right, good. There won't be a test at the end of the season. Can, you give, can you give us an example of one egg? Um, It's coming up. And it's, okay. it's coming up. Uh. It's very obvious. It's very obvious in the next eight um, episodes. She's yeah. Um, I don't think I, we have what four episodes left. I'm trying to gauge something that you guys might want to catch. Us because it really is. Yeah, we just watched so episode that, five. So, so if there's yeah, a sixteen three, split, uh, there's three more before the season. Uh, yeah, there's three more. Before yeah. The season. Um, it gets pretty intense, so I didn't get a chance to really um embed something okay i'm trying to think <laughs> what i have you know it's, it's crazy because i hey, can tell you well yeah i mean well, i tell you what, like, I tell what you can eight, do too the next the, the next eight that comes up after this in the fall is going to be really 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 good okay so there's a lot of those looks like you know you look at your kid like did you actually just you know pour the orange juice on the floor <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know did you actually just all of the walls, you know. I got you. Know, you. I've been having a lot of so that with my nephews a, now. There's it's a couple of those like, looks coming up. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. When it happens, you make sure you buzz us on social media so we know and so we can we can pimp that a little bit for you. Okay, all right. absolutely. Let's absolutely. Get, all right. Um, all right so, so the whole thing about going back to the whole thing, uh, I, you know, I, I digress. The whole thing going back to the acting thing and when I knew I wanted to do it. I went to high school and college with Jim Bridges, Jr., Jim Bridges Sr., their, his father, was an agent. Todd okay. Bridges, Todd Bridges, who was on different strokes and, you know, you know, the TV actor, the child mm-hmm. actor. Uh, um, basically, their dad got all of us into the business, you know, via commercials and that That's kind of stuff. That's a cool so connection. That is a great We connection. were doing commercials and stuff like that back in high school, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to see if I can go, how far I can go, and if I could make it to the big show. It happened. 
Uh, and uh, when I was done and said, listen, you know, I'm, I'm just going to devote my energies into uh, something else, um, I was able to make that phone call. I made two phone calls. I made phone calls to my uh, football agent, Leonard King, and said, hey, man, I'm out. And I, then I called Jim Bridges Senior up, and I said, hey, I, I'm back in L.A. next Tuesday, and I will be taking this thing full force, and I will get in class. I will study. I will learn my craft. I will do all those things. I will... I will do extra work, whatever it is that I need to learn to make sure I know my craft I'm in. And I've been going ever since. That's awesome. awesome. And so you just yeah. doubled down on all those classes and everything, and like that's what led to more opportunities? Yeah, because in college I couldn't, you know, it was hard for me to play football, run track, and, and be a student athlete, a student athlete at the same time. So I mean, that's pretty much 30 hours in a day. Yeah, it was, yeah, and they were on the quarter system too. I mean, during the summer – you know, I'm taking classes like, uh, you know, tennis and, you know, uh, uh, how to walk a dog, you know. Wow. Yeah, you know underwater underwater basket weaving. I guess. Yeah, underwater, you know, I was going to say that because everybody has that course. Anyway, yeah, I mean, so. I, I mean we, we have to ace something, right? That's right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and I changed my uh, my major from criminology because uh, my family, there's uh, cops running my family. Okay. And, uh gotcha. And I was going to do that, you know, I was going to do it the right way and, you know, go in administration and, you know, you know, corporate dude, if I, you know, if anything. Didn't, I hear you. If, you I know. think he made the right decision. Yeah, on, I think uh, he definitely yeah, yeah, chose the yeah, right path yeah, there, my friend. Yeah, so I, I, I said, listen, man, I'm going to do what every athlete does. I'm going to get my degree in uh, phys, ed, phys, phys ed and health. You know, I went yeah. that way. So, you know, that's what happened. <laughs> Well, but, let's uh, uh, let's dive into Badlands a little bit. I, yeah, I've got to yeah. ask these. We're going to ask them different kind of questions, and one of the first ones I'm very interested to see how you feel because um, yeah. it can be. It's kind of a hot topic for some things. To us, what is it? What does it feel like, or how does it motivate you, or anything? How you want to play to be a part of probably one of the most diverse cast, especially in lead role shows on television. Right I think now. that's the big difference. Is a lot of the lead roles are diverse. Yeah, yeah, uh, great because. I, everyone asked that question and my answer to that, my stock answer to that, to that is every, almost every day I would thank Daniel Wu because Daniel's the producer on it and creator. I would thank Daniel Wu for, um, I'll the conversation about making sure that the cast was diverse and, uh, Alan Miles, our, our showrunners, our producers, they are sticklers on that. I mean, and Al said it one day that, you know, you can't dive ahead a few years in the future and just think that one group of people are going to be here and one group isn't. You know, it's not like that. That's not how the world works. Plus, uh, for me as an actor, guys, as an actor, it's important because I sit here and I look at these TV shows. Or I'm, I'm here in L.A. and I see what they're casting. I see what they're doing. And people want to go a different route they want to hire the best actor the best actor could be a martian from planet zoom time you know they, <laughs> you know but they won't hire that guy because they're they don't want to upset um you know folks in the midwest or whatever it is or yeah. advertisers mm. you know it, it's, it's you know there's a litany of things you know um and slowly but surely it's going to change because i mean Listen, um, the world is different. The Absolutely. whole world is different. It's not just the United States or Canada or South America. The world is totally different. It is. And you see everybody everywhere. So, you know, I, I think uh, I thank God for, for those guys for having the insight to do so. And uh, also, they give the women up. And I dig that. Yeah, I think that. look, there's no doubt. We've talked to Al before, before and uh, uh, he's one of just a charismatic guy, and he, he expressed great, great. very same things you're talking about. And I think the diversity, as well as what you bring to the show, is what makes it such a great show to watch. I think y'all do a phenomenal job. I think that oh, everybody you brings so their own flair, and I think that yeah. again, that's, that's the extra seasoning on a, an amazing well dish. You know, yeah, because we're all from everywhere. Exactly. We're, we're all from yeah, everywhere, exactly. and the crew is all from everywhere. So, you know, you hear every language, you hear every dialect, you hear different accents all day long, and it's so cool. You know, it was so like the, when they introduced my character a year and a half ago. Um, One of the best that introductions. Was the, yeah. Oh, that was, wasn't that great. Yes. Um, that was the first thing that I noticed, uh, you know, just every ethnicity was 
represented on that set and on that. And there's two units. There's a fight unit and a drama unit. And they're very well covered. They have people from everywhere. And I, I enjoy that fact. What do you I mean really there's do. like and two you, different units, like a fight unit? And there's a two different units. In television land or in normal movie land, uh, you have just one unit. You have, you know, 200, 300 people working on, on the set and uh, they have specific jobs. With our show, you mm-hmm. do two shows at the same time. All right. So that was new to me. So you get two scripts at the same time and you get them very late in the game because they don't want any leaks. And um, you have two units. So you have a full unit of drama and you have a full unit of fight, um, of fight stuff. So you might I can see where yourself, that works. Yeah. Yeah, you might find yourself sometimes uh in the morning doing fight unit and then shoot some fight unit over to drama unit. But what they like to do, they like to get your drama stuff out the way first and then throw you in the van and ship you over That's to about, uh, I could totally see that. You know, you get denied yeah. a kiss on one scene and you use that yeah, motivation to go and saw wood in half and fight each yeah. other. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Obvious. This is a complete exactly. workout. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's a method to their madness. I, I get it now. Thanks, guys. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, and so, you know, that's the way it goes. And uh, you might be doing 301 drama unit Monday, 302 fight unit uh, Tuesday all day, you know, and then it's just vice versa, go back and forth, back and forth. And it's fun. Once you get the um, you know, you know which, where you're going, what you're doing, where you are. What location you're at, and and where you where you're going, and where you're coming from, as uh, you know your character motivation. So it, that's that 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 really helps. And again, you don't want to let anyone down because there's so many people working um, on both units that you have to be on your you a game. On your, you have to be on your a game every day, yes. and no matter how tired you are, because you want to give to those people. Because I got to tell you, the, the crew that they have um, in Ireland is just amazing i've never seen a harder worker crew in my life and i've been on some really good shows and movies and with directors but these guys their way and, and I, I gotta tell you my hat's off to the men and women um of everyone on the, the crew, elements so. yeah the elements. okay they're smiling and laughing and having a gas as they say <laughs> that's awesome that you just have a crew that's so tight and everything that actually makes it oh, feel yeah. like family and it shows with all yeah. the angles and stuff that we're actually able to see. And we were yeah. curious, is there a big difference in filming overseas and somewhere like Ireland versus the United States? Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, um, they tend to squeeze uh, the uh, uh, rules and regulations. I mean, as far as safety is concerned, you can't ask for anything better. But uh, because Ooh. of the light issue, or if they're, you know, if they're running out of light or whatever the case may be, if we're outside, inside, you know, lunches are shorter, okay. uh, which lunches are shorter for everybody. So it, that took a hell of a lot to get used to. I mean, we were like, you know, you know I, one day I unofficially became the shop steward. And I'm like, we're going to rise up. We're going to revolt. <laughs> <laughs> we, we demand longer lunches. <laughs> we, 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 longer lunches for everyone. That's just for me. It's every chicken at every pot. You get an extra 15 <laughs> minutes for you and 15 yeah. minutes for you yeah. and water. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Plow it to the people. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, you know, it, it, it got there for a moment. And uh, I remember when uh, Lorraine uh, Tucson and I were having uh, a conversation. And she goes, hey, let me ask you something. I said, oh, yeah. About lunch? She goes, yeah. I'm getting ready to call uh, the union. I'm like, ha, ha, ha. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck finding their number out here. <laughs> Look, yeah. So, you know. We, we sometimes have to uh, demand a little, you know, I'm, no, I'm not going out there. No, yeah. no, I'm not going. No, I'm eating my lunch, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's I like the old football practice. Like we're demanding yeah. water. We're all sitting until we get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, let me ask you a question on this. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. you're talking about the coworkers. All right, so we have a thought that we are, well, we assume that Nick Frost is probably a character or a comedian, this, that, or maybe a prankster. Do you have any stories or uh, working uh, with any other characters that are like, uh, you know, play too much everybody, or have too much fun? Everybody. You no, know, the, with, with the thing with Nick is, Nick, you walk into the makeup trailer, Nick's already started. Nick is already started. And it's just, he's just having a conversation, guys. He's just having a conversation with you, and he says something, and you're done. And you're rolling. Right? Like, the rings and are hurting and everything. And you're, you're done. <laughs> 
Oh, that God. man is so brilliant. I mean, he lets stuff fly from his cerebral cortex so fast. <laughs> I mean, it's bananas. And uh, I, I had lunch with uh, Eugenie the other day. She's going to be in uh, the next half uh, of the uh, the next age. She, okay. She's playing Sonny's sister, and she's playing Kanan. Uh, okay. And fabulous martial, fabulous, great martial artist. Uh, and well, great actress, too. And we've really heard you're a little bit of a martial artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a... a, a a uh, second degree in Kutsu and Taekwondo. Second degree? Holy cow. Second degree. How long yeah, have you been at degree. it? Uh, 22, 22 oh, years. Oh, Lord. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah congrats on that, man. Thanks, thanks, thanks. All right, so thanks. you're, but, you're but experts Nick, Q, Nick, though. Nick would, Nick would like, and we were talking about this today, her and I, uh, Nick will say something doing a take, mm -hmm. and then it's over, and then you have the giggle bops. The only one that's immune to it He'll go, ha, 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 and he's over it. It's dead. I, I can see that. Together. I can totally see yeah, it. Yeah, but he lets, us, he lets us have our thing. I mean, we'll be in <laughs> mid-dialogue, and somebody starts laughing at something he already said or the way he's going to say it, and it's over. Then when he knows he's got you, then it goes to another level. Oh, then, then he's going to kind of twist the knife and everything. It's like, now I know yeah, that you're... Yeah, that yeah, That's awesome. Yeah. And it's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's every day when you work with him. It's just a joy to work with that man. Each and every one of uh, my coworkers are just great. But we all know when we see Nick on the, on the call sheet and we're working with Nick, we go, it's going to be a fun day today. Yeah. It's like this is going to be a good day. It's like you've already right, got that happy day. energy. Has, any, yeah. has anything happened on set that, you know, maybe behind the scenes somebody wouldn't know that's kind of an interesting story? Like anybody accidentally punched somebody, kick somebody? No. Have any bad situations happen? No, no. I, I, did, I did hear this one game that Daniel and, and Lewis and I think Allie – uh, they were and, and Nick. I think they were they were working. They were on drama unit, mm -hmm. and they were playing a game called "Who Would You Fight?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> so who would you who would you beat up? Right. And so that consists of the crew. But I gotta remind you. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta I gotta remind you. Our crew is pretty fit. Yeah. Right? I mean, they, they have because, to be with as much as you know. They, they have to. They have you. to. They have to keep up with us. Mm -hmm. and they have to move with us, and so. You know, uh, are the are the uh, the ads right? And so, you know, it's just funny because that just happened. Yeah, did everyone uh, pick Al? Is that what it was going? It was like, I think oh, they no, take no, Al. They were, they, they were picking. They were picking. They picked Robbie. Robbie is one, one of the ads. He's the second second, and Robbie's so cool. But every day, Robbie goes, "My man." <laughs> you ready to do this today? <laughs> that's how you started off. Yeah, that's a great way to start the day. Whenever you get a "my man," you're like, "Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, ready. I'm hey, feeling you it." Know, and he'll, and he'll go over to the extras, my man. Now, we, we, <laughs> hey, I want man, you to that's take that a cup of coffee that in my book. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's just funny. He's just funny. So everybody picked him. They're like, yeah, let's get Robbie. Yeah, but Robbie's so cool. He's so cool. That's he's a awesome, watch collector man. like that me. That is absolutely so, awesome. Yeah. But, so uh, has the character Nathaniel Moon, has, right. it, has it changed anything, being on this show, being this character, has it changed anything for you personally? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's changed a lot for me personally. Um. The thing with Nathaniel, uh, let me go back to when I first got the gig. Okay. I auditioned for the gig, and uh, because I remember my mom called me and asked me, "Have I seen the pilot episode?" And I said, "No, I didn't want to. I didn't see it because it's a martial arts show, and I'm not a. I'm not going to watch it, Mom. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> bye bye now. <laughs> click clack. Right? And Mom right. always knows best, so she's probably calling yeah, you back. Yeah, like you're going to yeah. watch this pilot. You're going to watch this. So I watched it. I'm like. Okay, all right, cool. When they shot the, the first season down in New Orleans. When I auditioned for the show, I auditioned for the show, uh, my best friend Tim Cotchell and I, he's, he's a uh, film critic, but he's a writer-director also. So anytime I have a chance to put something on tape, you're going to get a production. So we mm -hmm. shot it like we were shooting on the day, you know, because we had everything. So uh, shot the scene, shot a couple of scenes, especially the scene when I'm taking out the candles with, with the sword. Uh, nice. Didn't he didn't hear anything for four weeks because they had offered it to another actor okay. actor that I respect and, and, and love his work. And I worked with him once, uh, was in a film with him, didn't work with him actually, but was in a film with him. And he's a really cool guy, at, at least from my POV. I dig him and I'm a fan of his work. That's they awesome. offered it to, they offered it to Wesley Snipes. Oh yeah. We, so, we, we kind of heard that a little bit, but we didn't, we yeah. weren't sure. Yeah. So he was busy and, uh, I got the call, uh, I got the call for Wednesday night. It was uh, Wednesday, no, Wednesday. 
Actually, I went to my agent's office that day. I was auditioning my ass off for a whole bunch of things. Went by my agent's office, had a conversation with her. When came home, went out to my boy Tim's house, and we were playing music and writing some stuff and uh, drink, drinking Jameson, uh, oddly enough. Well, and, I mean, uh, yeah, I need, and, to be, I need to be friends with you, man. Yeah, yeah man. man. Anytime you can sit <laughs> yeah. around drinking Jameson, that, that's a good night. Yeah, you can sit around, you know, complaining, you know. <laughs> or, or, you know Did you have the cigars out too? Snapping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just hey, everything. You know, when you're drinking Jameson, yeah, they, you gotta have a cigar. Got to have a cigar. Got to have. Got to have a cigar. Got to have the money crystal. So, got back home, fell asleep. Got a phone call at uh, approximately four thirty-five in the morning, and he goes, "Good morning, Seven. How hey, you want to? I'm calling from Into the Balance. Want to give you a plan for our charity? Uh, what? Wait, what? What? Yeah, what? Like... what? I'm calling from production office Into the Balance. Want to get you on the plan for our charity? I'm like, yo, you? Ch- okay, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you're, you're punking me, man. <laughs> yeah, call me back. Okay. <laughs> So we wake up, we splash yeah, of water. <laughs> yeah, splash of water. Uh, and I call my agent. He says, yeah, man, he's at the gym. And he's like, yeah, man, uh, they offered it to you. So I'm like, okay, cool. So she called back. We got everything squared away. Island that Saturday morning. Uh, left Friday, Saturday morning. I met with everybody. Did the whole thing because they were working that day. And didn't read this until I got on the plane, actually. And this is the story I wanted to tell. I read the, read the script, and he was so well-rounded in there. And so I had, I said to myself, okay, well, I'm going to have to use a lot of myself. A lot of myself is, I'm going to have to just bring that to the surface for mm-hmm. this guy, which was uh, very liberating because I feel more um, free as a person, as a human being, as a man, uh, in front of the camera being somebody else because I can sneak myself through. Yes. And, yeah. you know, whatever, whatever those views are or whatever I need to uh convey at that time you know uh i'm able to be honest with myself and there's only one way to uh if you're going to be an actor to um portray any character you have to be honest with for that character for yourself so what i usually do is let that character evaluate me i go through this whole psychological thing where i let that character ask me questions about getting you him off the page and doing this and doing that and what have i been through in my life so um I had to raise the stakes a little higher uh, going back for uh, season three. Uh, I had a lot of meetings right here in my living room uh, at night uh, letting Nathaniel talk to me. And we made an agreement to, uh, you know, just be honest with each other mm-hmm. and, and always because that's the only way I'm going to make this dialogue real. You know, well, it, show, se- so, it seems natural. To be honest with you, it, of, yeah. of, of, of a lot of the actors on the show. I think, and it's not a, it's not a slight towards them. I, I know, just feel I like, know, I know. I yeah. think it just, the way you personify your character, it seems very natural, and I can totally mm-hmm. see what you mean when you say it's mm-hmm. a part of who you are. Well, because uh, yeah, it's a part of yeah. Go ahead. Go well, ahead. it's just so say. many like you're like it's not close ups or anything, but it's when the camera stops on you and like you just have these looks that like go mm-hmm. through the camera that just mm-hmm. like resonate with me every single time. And it's like it's a weird intimidation because like you're not intimidating us or anything, but your presence fills up the entire yeah. screen. That's look. I had, I, I have had an opportunity to work with some of the best actors ever. Um, when I did the Mexican with uh, Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt and, uh, James, James Gandolfini, yeah. James Gandolfini and I had the same agent at the at the time. And it's funny because I ran into that agent yesterday, um, and uh, we were talking about that. And you learn a lot. And I remember at lunch one day, uh, James said, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? You're my favorite actor, you know, uh, one of my favorite actors. What are you talking about? He goes, man, I'm just winging it. I'm just trying to find the truth in this whole thing. Oh, I'm like, whoa. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. And, you know, Gene Hackman was in that movie. And he did um, uh, the film with Denzel and Gene Hackman, um, Crimson, uh, Crimson Tide. Yes. And, you know, Gene Hackman to James Gandolfini was it yeah you know it doesn't it doesn't go any further than that so we had this gene hackman um conversation and i learned a lot and um i uh what i try you see how honest these guys are even you know even when it's low moments high moments in you know they're, they're always present they're always making that scene um real and having real moments, like we're having this conversation right now. So if we were in front of the camera, I would want this to be a real, honest Man, moment. That's honest. That's so that's awesome. what I look for. That's what I look for when, when you know, with Nathaniel. 
I'm always telling myself, real moment, man, no matter what the situation is or if it could be, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is, it has to be real. It has to be real. You know, I have to have a real moment. I have to give myself. I have to be in, in a place of service because then everybody else can react to me and I can react back. Acting's reacting. Yes. That's it. That's awesome. Well, what's it been like getting that sword back for uh, Moon? It was uh, gratifying. Yeah, I mean, it looked like I mean, it looked you like know, a special I, moment because it. you had the rings. Like they even gave you the sound with the ri- with the rings at the edge yeah. of the sword, and yeah. I, I thought it was a special moment. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it, it it is. I mean, because um, I I had a chance to work with that sword briefly when we did this uh, the, when they introduced me for the first time, and it was fresh off the press. They had made a whole bunch of them. They uh, a three D printer made those things, and there's really? uh, also a yeah, there's also a real one that can cut you. Uh, there is one that is a resin sword that's pretty sharp that can really jack you up. So it's just these different generations of hmm. those swords and then swords that you can practice with and all that kind of stuff and then there's the real pretty you know hero sword that mm-hmm. you can use right. so and they're all way the same would not have and, that. Uh, that's, that's, that's pretty yeah sweet. that's pretty yeah sweet. and they, it's about six or seven of them that's and cool. uh you know i was able to use both hands then because that's a broad sword you <laughs> use both hands so now coming back i'm using my left hand and uh i've never Throughout my martial arts career, I never really did any Try to sword focus work. on it or anything? Yeah, yeah. I just did extreme, extreme sticks and all that kind of stuff, but um, never uh, sword work. So it was something new. And then I had to – I remember I was downstairs uh, in my uh, driveway, and I, I know I'm practicing. It was maybe about 1030 at night or whatever. And, you know, I got this late email from daniel hey man see you in a couple of weeks oh and by the way you are practicing with your left hand aren't you like, oh, dude, 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 you are practicing dude. with your and left I, one right left yeah. Yeah. Like, and i'm like of course i'm lying oh dude i'm downstairs right now practicing with my left. you know i'm working yeah, that spoon left hand in my cereal yeah yeah because oh yeah yeah gonna... i'm five minutes out yeah don't worry i'll be there yeah exactly <laughs> let's yeah, go hey, you were talking, go talking about some of the other actors you were dealing with I, right. I got to ask this question. I know you're you're pressed for time, and I want to get as oh, much. It's, it's all good. Come on, it's um, all good. I, we ask this a lot, and it's always fascinating to hear what people have to say. What would be your dream job? Who work with, or under a certain director, work with a certain actor? What would be what you could oh, say man. is the pinnacle, or was there like a dream role that's already right, happened? Yeah, that you something you of that have. nature. What, uh, uh, well, well, shoot, while we were shooting, Star Wars called, but I couldn't do it, so, uh, there you go, that's one. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, man, yeah, 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 and I didn't know about it, I got, I heard it from a fellow actor, I heard it from Orla Brady, Orla goes, hey, Sherman, um, what do you think about that? We were at a play, it was me, uh, Babu Sese, and Louis Tan, and, 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 um, Orla, and she goes, hey, before the play started, so what do you think about that? Think about what? The whole thing about Star Wars. What do you think about that? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, there was a big conversation about you with Star Wars. You didn't know and the play started. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, Talk to me, <laughs> damn it. Like, yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, like that, that's what it's like. I wish no one ever told me about this. Like, I just wish I never found out about it. Like, Exactly. When is in admission? When is in admission? Because I need to have this conversation. Yeah, um, yeah I think so, I can fly back. Like, <laughs> yeah, I can do, I can yeah. do both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Um, so, uh, I've done a lot of big things. Um, have an action figure from Virus, you know, so that's one thing down. That's awesome. Um, and uh, sure, I would love to work with Scorsese. I would love to work with uh, Spielberg. Uh, I would like to have, uh, I would like to do something, something really cool and crunchy with Spike Lee. Um, yeah, yeah. I would love to, um, which he's got a new film I mean, coming out soon. Yeah, yeah, he does. He does. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things I just, for me, I just want to be in really good projects that, uh, entertain people. And for me, um, enhance the profile of course, but, Absolutely. uh, challenging projects, you know, things that I have to really dig inside myself and, and pull stuff out. Uh, and which I'm so proud of into the Badlands because as an actor, you don't see it now, but when the next eight starts, I have complete, as an actor, I have completed every journey and I get to hit every emotion with this television show, which is very, 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 very rare. 
So I get to go to some places, and I'm really proud of that. I'm proud of myself as an actor uh, that uh, when I was called on to uh, do what I needed to do, it was there. And the training was there, and I was able to do it. And the real raw emotion was there. And um, my fellow actors really appreciated it. They did. I mean, I with like, the way well, you're talking okay. about the second half of the season, like you legitimately gave me goosebumps. Like my arms are still, like, no. the hair is still uh, raised. You're, you'll get a sense of everything when it comes to eight. Now, when episode eight, when you see episode eight, that's, I that's the I mid-season see, finale. Yeah. yeah, I wish I can see your faces. Oh, I wish I can see everybody's face. That I ah, oh, it's going to be crazy. Sounds like a party that night. Is what yeah, it sounds like. Yeah. Say, so Put the camera party. up. Uh, we'll send you video. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. You, you guys should have a party. All, all I can say is think of Battle of the Bastards. Think of that. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. We're talking about another show we cover. That's holy smack. Think of that. Well, speaking of that think show of real that. quick. Yes. Who, who wins in a sword fight with uh, the Golden Hands? You or Jamie Lannister? Oh man, I'm taking that dude out. Ah, oh, there that's it what is. we love to hear. There it is. That's what kidding? we love to hear. <laughs> Which, by the Liberty way, match. you have decided. the better oh. golden hand. Like yeah. by oh, hands down. I have in that hand. Are you kidding me? Yeah, there's, there's no contest. Really, that, that's there's an unfair thing. No hey, yeah. hey, you, you, always gotta, you always got to ask some oh, tough questions. Yes, yes. Oh, there's no contest. I got a, I got a short sword. I got a dagger, and it's loaded with darts. Man. Are you kidding me? There we go. Here's the the best weapon is is the is the Joker who's wheel. Wielding it. That's right there. That the badass true. that's wielding exactly. that hand is the mo- is the deadliest weapon of them all. It's funny. I mean, it's funny. I'm just like, oh, come on, man. I would like, really? really? <laughs> hey, I'm right there really? with you. Like, I mean, I think you are, but. Really? Jamie's yeah. only as good as Cersei. You remember that, okay? Yeah, exactly. Fair, <laughs> fair point right there. I love Very that fair point. What did, you, what, what did you guys, now was a question for you guys. What did you guys think of, uh, of Dean's uh, fight scene with Lewis Tan? Hmm. Like my problem with Lewis... Tan. Lewis is 0 for 2. That's yeah, what's bothering th- that's me. That's what's okay. bothering us. Okay. He needs okay. a win. Yeah, the guy... Okay. Look, the bottom okay. line is is that when they introduced his character, you're in a jail cell, you're having to compel him by killing yeah. cogs. The Evidently, slow. this guy is supposed to be a leap for Springs Ninjas, the whole nine yards. Yeah. And when you get his first real fight scene, he loses. And don't get me wrong, he loses to I a know. dark guy. Yeah. And all that stuff. I know, but he, he loses to a cat that has, you know, the dark. Yeah, the exactly. Kid, right? So we're fine but, with but that. The reason, yeah, but and, the reason why I was asking, because I was asking um, uh, Dean, I was like, you know, so, hey, man, did you do any any sort of work or anything? You know, because I, I watched the show from Rooted to the mm-hmm. uh, uh, Game of Thrones. You know, did you ever go down and just learn some sort of stuff? He goes, no, man, they, I've never done anything. And the reason why wow. I asked him that, I was so impressed because he's a dancer. And he did all those moves. He did it. And that, I was just wow. That's a nugget I was not expecting. Oh, oh, it's insane. I mean, that's why I was happy because he's never. He came to fight camp. You know, like we had like a week left and kind of hurt himself a little bit because you know we're all doing this shit for a while. And um, so I was feeling kind of sorry, you know. But once I found out he was a dancer and I I went and watched that rehearsal, I was sold. Duke can do it. Wow. Yeah. It was awesome. And yeah. definitely and so has the fight camps helped because it looks like the fight scenes in this season are just head and heels yeah. above yeah. season two. Yeah, and season did. two it was did. phenomenal. It did. I mean everybody who came everybody studied with someone, uh, especially everybody all the actors here. I know Aramis and Allie and all those they studied, trained hard with uh, some folks that they had on tap. Yeah. And um, I still train with uh, the folks of it's just a it's a black belt club and uh, Karen Reed is our uh, she's a fourth degree black belt and she's like not to call her age or anything like that but she's like sixty four and she's badass and nobody will mess with her so we let her lead the group. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're doing pretty well yourself from everything yeah, you've seen. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean when once I found yeah. your age the other day, I was like, holy, are yeah, you kidding yeah, me? Yeah. yeah. I think it was like, did Jesus graduate with me? Or? Yeah, oh, yeah. Come I think on. I think you were two classes after. Jesus, oh, whatever, Moses, dude. Was, Moses was whatever. in my class. Moses, Moses dude, was in my class. You don't look your you don't look it at all. You you've done well for Moses. yourself, man. Yeah, me and Moses, we got in trouble a lot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we, <laughs> hey, well, he was his Lord. seniors. You're going in your freshman year, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Holy yeah. Crap, man. <laughs> this is what you do in your sophomore year, okay? <laughs> and then when you and then when you get here, you can move into this house over here. All right, this is really good. Okay, <laughs> you know, just don't. 
touch Chet's beer. Yo, <laughs> hey. Amen, man. Wow, that's a great callback right there. That is a great callback. Uh, all right, well, let's look at this last question at you here. Any yeah. aspirations to do anything? Behind the camera. Behind the camera? Absolutely. Producer, oh, anything absolutely. else? Absolutely. Working on that right now. Thanks to the Badlands, I have a bunch of meetings. Uh, meeting with uh, DreamWorks in a couple of days. Uh, of course, with uh, Lionsgate luck. and a couple yeah, other, yeah, a couple cool other people. Because we do, we do have stuff. Uh, my business partners and I, we do have a lot of stuff. So now people are taking those things serious. And basically, uh, I don't need to be in in front of the camera. You know, it's all about ownership now. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of stories. I don't care where you come from. There's a lot of stories that need to be told. And uh, that's what I want to do. I, awesome. I definitely want to do those. Yeah. So well, we that's wish you huge thing. luck with that. I mean, thank like, you so much. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, thank you. But to me, I'm a, I think it's a no-brainer. I think you've got the skills, and based on oh, what thanks. we've seen, you know, given you know, people can say, "Well, you've watched one show. What does that mean?" But the reality yeah. of it is, is that you know, we we cover a lot of TV. And right. out of actors that we've got to talk to and ones we really study and stuff like that, I mean, you're you're up there. I mean, you, oh, you really do the part and uh, really Thank impress you us. And I think that's the, I think that's the biggest reason we had so much buzz when we talked about having you on the show. Yeah, um, is just that you know, is that, I mean, the you best a new thing? dynamic, and that's the whole deal. Well, I, no, I appreciate it. I think that this this season for Into the Badlands, they have amped it up a lot, and uh, they really put the right mixture of actors in there, and they have a great storyline. Mm-hmm. And I think what keeps us honest is just like game. We don't know who's going to get, you know, taken out or not. When we heard about a bloodbath, you know, we were all like, oh, man. I mean, because Paco was like, yeah, there's going to be a bloodbath, you know, uh, <laughs> towards the end. And we're like, well, who's, who's dying? Yeah. Who's in? And they would not say nothing. Oh, so man. we were all going to work every day. Like, okay, I'm throwing a day. I'm gonna have a good time. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. Right. This could be the last one. I'm going out. I'm going out right. right. I'm going out. Yeah. <laughs> they put y'all like, like you're on the oh. wire. Like you're reading the flip end of the script. Like, yeah. are I still here? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, Paco was saying, "Oh, don't worry, guys. I kill people well." <laughs> like, oh, uh, uh, that's oh, awesome. That's your calling card. Yeah. Okay. That is awesome. Okay. Well, look, Sherman, I'm a, I got to say, man, I can't thank you enough for tonight. I can't thank you enough for your time. can't thank you oh, enough for I what you bring it. to the TV and what you do for us, our fans, oh, television, AMC, the whole nine yards. You are Hey, thank epic. you. Thank you, guys. And anytime, you know, there's you – know, anytime you guys want to chit-chat, man, I am open to it. Trust me. All we're right? going yeah. to hold so you to that. Don't be, don't be strangers. No, you absolutely You got nothing to not. worry about. You got nothing to worry All about, right. man. Cool. Yeah, again, get, thank you again, Sherman. We're on call tonight, oh, guys. Welcome. I hope everybody – enjoyed the interview make sure you like share sure. look up sherman he's on facebook he is on twitter, twitter. what's your handle um uh it's sherm gus uh at uh sherm gus for um instagram and it's also sherm gus sherman augustus two, two on twitter on twitter right you guys y'all look him up follow Guy delivers so much, even outside of the outside the show. Make sure you're following along. It's just absolutely amazing. Of course, always check on Bleed TV. But guys, we're going to call it a night. This is Bleed TV, and I'm Zach. And I'm Cash. And good night. Hey, good night.